In this example, we are learning how to find the slope and y-intercept of a line that passes through the point 7, negative 13 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 3x plus 1. Before we begin, let's just think about the context of this problem. Here's a graph of the line y equals 3x plus 1. We want to find the slope and y-intercept of a line that will be perpendicular to this and pass through the point negative 7, 13. So here's the point, excuse me, 7, negative 13. Here's that point. We want to find the line that passes through this point and is perpendicular to y equals 3x plus 1. We want to find what is the slope and y-intercept of this line. Here's a graph of the line. So here. We want to find what is the slope and y-intercept of this line that passes through this point, 7, negative 13, and is perpendicular to this line, y equals 3x plus 1. We need to find what is the slope and y-intercept of this point. Well, since this line is perpendicular to this line, we know that the slopes are then perpendicular, and perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. So if this blue line has slope 3, then this red line, the perpendicular line, would have a slope that is the opposite reciprocal of 3. The reciprocal of 3 is 1 third, and the opposite sign would be negative. So the slope of this red line, m, is going to be negative 1 third. So that's the slope of the line, but we still need to find the y-intercept. We can find the y-intercept by using the slope-intercept form of an equation. So this represents the equation of our red line, and we want to find what is b, the y-intercept. We'll plug in the slope that we determined, negative one-third for m, and the point that we know that line passes through, 7, negative 3, 13, 7, negative 13, we'll plug in for x and y. Then if we just solve for b, we'll have that y-intercept value. So this is a little bit complicated. You could think of this as 7 over 1, and then you're multiplying two fractions together, negative 1 third times 7 over 1, which would be negative 7 over 3. Then we want to add 7 over 3 to both sides because we're trying to get b by itself. So if we add 7 over 3, these two fractions cancel out, and we get b equal to negative 13 plus 7 over 3. Negative 13, if we write it as negative 13 over 1 and multiply both numerator and denominator by 3, we get negative 39 over 3, which is ease, much easier to add to 7 over 3. When we do this, we add negative 39 to 7 and keep the common denominator of 3, which leads us to negative 32 over 3 for b. So the y-intercept would be negative 32 over 3. Slope of negative 1 third, y-intercept of negative 32, over 3. If we divide these fractions, converting them to decimals, and then give our answer to at least four decimal places, then we will get these numbers, negative 0.3333 and negative 10.6667. 